Hey, it's Chico. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to easily create flower and mandala shapes in Adobe Illustrator using the rotation tool. It's super easy, so let me show you. First, you're gonna start with one motif. I'm gonna pull up my rulers. I'm gonna use Command R, that's my key command. Now I can drag a guide over. I'm gonna zoom in first. I'm holding Command Spacebar on my keyboard. And now I'm just gonna drag over a guide and I'm gonna drop it right in the center. Okay, so imagine this is my first petal at the top of my flower. I wanna rotate multiple petals around a circle. So I wanna imagine what is the distance of the diameter of my flower? For right now, I'm just gonna drop a placeholder in here. So imagine this is the center of our flower. If this is the center of our flower, how big do we want the petal? And where are we gonna rotate the petal from? That would be right in the center of the circle. Let's pull another guide down and drop it here in the center of this circle. So now we know this is the center of our flower. What I'm gonna do is select the rotation tool. That's R on your keyboard. And you can see right here is my anchor point for where the rotation tool will rotate the object. So right now, if I rotate the object, it's gonna rotate around this anchor point. For example, if I go here and type in 90 degrees and hit copy, you can see it made a copy and it rotated it right around this anchor point. Let's delete that. Now what I wanna do is rotate my petal, but not from this as a center, from down here as a center. So what I wanna do is select my rotation tool and take my crosshairs and drop it right here in the center and I'm gonna press option. When I press option, it brings up the rotate tool and it brings up a preview of my last rotation. What I wanna do is I wanna make 12 petals completely around this circle. So I'm gonna let Illustrator do the math for me. I'm going to enter 360 degrees for the full circle and then I'm gonna hit divide, which is the backslash on your keyboard and then I'm gonna hit divide, which is the slash mark on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna enter the number 12 for the number of petals I want. And when I click copy, Illustrator is gonna do the math and come up with the number of degrees that I need to rotate each object. So I'm gonna click copy, and you can see that Illustrator rotated it just enough. So if I press Command D, that will duplicate my last move. Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, and so on and I have a complete flower very quickly. Now what I wanna do is just expand this to complete my flower and cover up those little edges. You can experiment with different shapes of petals and different objects, and this is a super simple way to use the rotation tool to create flowers and other mandala-like shapes. I hope you have fun with this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, follow, and share this video with a friend that you think can learn a few tips from Illustrator. Until next time, I'm Chico, and I'll see you soon.